Hello everyone, my name is Lames James and welcome back to Batman Arkham Asylum. Now, in the last episode, we actually did a lot in the last mainly we actually didn't do too much in the last episode, but we beat Harley Quinn. Um she was very um deleterious, you know, um to everyone else around us, so she was just taking people out left and right. And not we we finally trapped her and I spoke about, you know, my opinions on her character and I I think she's a great character and as you can see we've progressed through this game in the main menu it says I'm only 37% of the way done so that's fun um, I'm still looking for riddles as I go along of course and there's a cut there's like a bunch of cuts actually in my suit and I have no idea what we're gonna do in this episode last episode we visited the botanical gardens and it was pretty cool I think I can jump to this I know I tried in the last episode. there we go I just couldn't get it in the last episode but anyway, let's get into it. I'm really enjoying my time here, and I hope you all are too. Oh, it's an Arkham thing. Let's go. Spring was a turning point, a new beginning, a glorious realization of my true destiny. My family's killer perished in an unfortunate accident. <laughs> quote, quote. Animals cannot be cured. Like dogs, they only respond to discipline. And if that fails, then I was afraid that these accidents would have to continue. Um, I think Amadeus is causing... I think... I, I know he spoke about it in a previous um, Decipher message, but I think he's not telling the full story throughout these Decipher messages. I think he's actually um, causing what he's um, narrating about. For instance, he's causing the death of the person who killed his family. And I think his disciples, like the people that work for him, are catching on to this. And they're starting to disagree with him. That's my theory anyway, so far. But I have no clue. He's also supposedly a ghost, which I haven't fully comprehended yet. Like, how is he a ghost? Is there anything up here? I feel like there would be. Um, and there's a question mark in this room. Like, if I pause it and go to the Riddler's challenges... You can see there's one here this challenge can only be seen by those with a different view on life so here this isn't something you have to scan shut up edward this is actually something you have to align like you have to align a question mark symbol so i am trying to go i think i'm gonna exit this room i'm sure we'll be back here and i can find a bunch more stuff but for now i'm just gonna keep on trucking trucking does anyone say that i'm you know from the southern region of the u.s but I'm not a southern boy, if that makes sense. I just get all the language from there. I'm more of a city boy, but I just get all the language from, you know, southern areas because that's who I reside around. Oh, we have a map in this area, too. Oh, and we're still in the botanical gardens. For some reason, I thought we left. I thought we were in the sewer system here. For some reason. You know where uh, Killer Croc jump scared us? Um, that's where I thought we were. Um, I have no doubt we'll be back through here. You know what? I'll come back here eventually. You know, the riddles aren't bothering me too much. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Uh, the rat catcher needed more than just his identity to something. Destroy the Titan production facility. So no, I think I'm trying to go the other direction. So this is where I came from in the last episode. It's been a couple of days since I recorded the last episode. Um, so I'm a little... Uh, I, I'm confused on what we're doing exactly. And my gameplay might not be as good. In the last episode, that body jumped down, right here, over here, a guy jumped down, and I, my theory is, because we overheard Joker when we first entered this room, my theory is that he just threw a guy down here, or it could be Killer Croc, I think this might be the door we're supposed to go through. See, as I said, I have no doubt we'll be back in this room, so it doesn't scare me too much. The rat catcher need more than his charm to lead his army. Right, what would that be? I'm going to keep looking. Oh, shoot. Hey! Leave him alone. Woo! Oh! Hey! So, I was going to say... Actually, no. I'll, I'll save it for the last episode. Because I don't want to get too many of my opinions out. I'm mainly saving that for the um, end credits of the game. Are you okay, buddy? You look scared, and I don't doubt you, man. It's kind of scary out here. So... I've been doing some research, not to spoil the game or anything, but I've been doing some research on the games I've already played, like Origins of Night, 
which are the only games I've played in the series. And I mention that every episode, but I'm going to continue mentioning it to get my point across. Oh, I can talk to you. Are you okay? Do I look okay? They were going to kill me. We were in the aviary hiding out, and they came in with Joker shooting up the place and loaded us into cages. Are they still in there? No, man. No one's come out since. You've got to help them. Stay here. Don't worry. I'll help. I'll help them. You, you can count on me, buddy. Um, but as I was saying, I was doing research on Arkham Knight and Arkham Origins again because I kind of forgot. I did forget a little bit. And I was, I was only doing research on the game because I want to forget the story as much as I can, you know? Is this a scannable? Looks all, like all the king's horses trampled all the king's men. Humpty Dumpty! But as I was saying, I basically, um, forgot that you need a line launcher. And I'm assuming these areas that are very far away, I probably need a line launcher cross if that's in this game. An obese bald man nicknamed Humpty Dumpty for his egg-like form, Humphrey Dumpler is obsessed with taking things apart and putting them back together again. His crimes at first were minor break-ins, leading to small mechanical items no longer functioning due to Dumpler's inability to adequately resemble them after taking them apart, reassemble them. But soon his obsession grew to the point that major disasters occurred in Gotham, and Dumpler's crimes also extended to a gruesome attempt to fix his abusive grandmother by dismembering her and then attempting a Frankenstein-like reassembly. At Arkham, he is a model inmate, his quiet nature and imposing physique inuring him to the madness surrounding him. Dang. That is insane. It's kind of sad, you know, if you think about it. Um, real name, Humphrey Dumpler. This is obviously based... I can't remember what... It's obviously based on the um, Humpty Dumpty um, poet. Um, poetry, right? That originally began as a, po a poem, I think, right? The Humpty uh, Dumpty song. Professional criminal, Gotham City, brown nun, 6'3", 345 pounds. Extremely tall, heavy, and strong. Possesses an almost unnaturally quiet, deliberate nature. That poor man, bro. I, it, everything that looks suspicious, the only reason I found that was because it looks suspicious. Everything that looks suspicious in this place, I'm going to try and scan. So I'm trying to head this way. And I keep, I need to keep looking at the map since I have unlocked riddles, of course. Like, I, I found the secret map in the previous episode for the Botanical Gardens. And that basically just shows you where all the riddles are. And I need to actually put that to good use. See, like, there's riddles over here. There, is this something? No. Um, it's beheaded though. Oh, is this something though? Constance Arkham, my dear wife, the first lady of Arkham. No way. Mad dog is what's over it. That's cool. And this, uh, is this a tribute to something? I couldn't read it. Are we going to get a bio on that character? No bio? There has to be a bio, right? Riddler challenges. Nice. We found some. Wow. No bio. That's insane. Uh, it's fine. And I saw this interview tape over here, so let's see what we got here. I got you what you asked for. Do you like it? Oh, yes, Stephen. I love it. Such a beautiful flower. Do you mind if I keep it? Oh, no problem. I can't leave it. It's against all the rules. I'll just bring it and show it to you when I visit. But it's me, Stephen. I get so lonely on my own. You wouldn't want me to be lonely, would you? Of course not. Keep it. Just don't let anyone see. Really. No. You can trust me, Stephen. Thank you. Now give me a kiss. Uh, I can't. People will see you. No one's watching. What's wrong with you? Don't you love me? Call me Ivy. Of course I love you. So Poison Ivy is back at it using her seductive powers in this. That, that poor Steven guy, he's he's not going to make it. So I got all the riddles here. That's cool. Oh, there's a riddle down the hall over there. I think that's where I need to use the line launcher thing that I was talking about, though. So I probably just need to go this way for now. All right, what do we got in here? There's no closet in the garden, so someone is using the roof instead. Yeah, 
they're going down. Good. And remember, if you hear a collar go off, Batman's here. That guy kind of looked like he was scout. Men are all wearing the security. Code. The guy who was on guard. I need to take out the operator first. Oh, I need to take out the operator first. Dang. <gasps> I did not mean to do that. Oh, I'm so going to fail. I'm so going to fail. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm failing. He said I need to take out the operator first. Is he going to notice me? But that guy looked like he was scalped. And... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you like a violin and cut your strings <laughs> these are actually pretty cool this was like a i guess this was a staple from the very first game because i haven't seen any of these yet but the ending fail screens those are cool but the guy also looked like calendar man can i skip this now oh no resume skip there we go joker's men are all wearing the security colors i'll need to take out the operator first Heck yeah, I do. Alright, I'm going to wait for this guy to turn around. I mean, he's not really looking right now. I could just go for it. Okay, I'm going for it. Did he see that? Okay. I was just making sure he didn't see that. I'm very quiet here because it's kind of scary. I have to do this very vivifyingly, you know? So, it's going to be... It's going to be um, really scary for me because this is like a mission where you got to take out a specific person before you can take out anyone else. And it's going to be scary. I think that was my first time I got the end fail screen for any of the villains. It's cool because they have, they have those for like every single villain in this game. Or I, I, I don't know in this game, but at least the other ones they do. It might only be Joker for this game. Who even knows? But, oh shoot! Oh. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is bad. He's stuck. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh shoot. No. Oh my gosh. No. I've already failed this mission twice. It's because it's hard to take out the specific guys it wants me to do. Okay. You were spotted and hostages were killed. Take out the control room operator. Yes, I know. I just got stuck. So, in that situation, I was pressing X, and I was trying to climb up the ledge, but it wouldn't let me. But I I'm going to get it this time. Third time's the charm. We know how it goes. This is the first episode where I'm kind of doing iffy on, but I know I know I can get through it. It's also the later missions, so it makes sense that I'm doing doing um, fairly bad on these. I'll need to take out the operator first. Go, 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 go. Whoo! See, I got through that section much quicker. And I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous episode. I, th I probably mentioned it in uh, part one. Because I remember editing that. And I remember talking about it, I think. But the fact that Batman opens um, the vents, uh, the air duct vents, um, uh, subtly when there's um, nobody around compared to when he opens it, you know, Kind of crazily when there's a lot of people around is really cool. I like that little detail. They could have easily made him do one or the other, but they specifically chose. Oh my goodness. I thought he wasn't going to make that. <laughs> chose the way I said that. But they specifically chose to do it um, two ways for every situation. And I, I just think that's really cool. All right. So it looks like I'm going to have to take out this guy. So I'm going to glide over there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Stealth. Okay, and the operator guy. Oh my goodness. He's up there in that room, so hopefully he doesn't see me. And as you can see, all these guys have the suicide collars. And between episodes, I was looking at um, good upgrades to get. Um, I wasn't looking at um, spoilers or anything for the game, but I was looking up good upgrades i can get next and do i already have it no i do not so this thing right here the sonic batarang tuned to resonate at the exact frequency of the nearest arkham suicide collar attracting that henchman useful useful for luring a target into a trap or away from an area of importance once thrown requires a short recharge period before it can be used again so this is a lure 
That actually reminds me too. The first and only time I ever went fishing. Remember how I told y'all? Oh <gasps> no! No! At least he's the operator. Oh my goodness. Yeah, tell me about it. They're probably all coming for me now. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh! He didn't notice me until now! Oh my god. Stop! Stop! I'm gonna die. Oh my goodness. That's right, operator guy. I'm coming for you. But as I was saying... Oh gosh. Again! But as I was saying before, um, the first time I ever went fishing and the only time... I got really scared of the lure. It was the funniest thing ever. That took me a couple tries, not gonna lie. I wish there was shit I could climb. I could just glitch this if I wanted. <laughs> oh shoot! They're too smart. They're figuring out my tactics. Oh! 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 They're figuring out my tactics! They're figuring out how I'm, I'm messing with it. But yeah, this took me a couple of times to get through. Oh, and the collars are going off. What the hell? Get up here. Fight me like a true man. I, I like how I say that, even though I'm the one, like, glitching it out. And I'm still, I'm still getting shot, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. If I fail this, and I'm, I'm glitching out the game. Oh my goodness. Yes. I finally got through it. My goodness. Took me like three tries, which wasn't that much, but now I can finally save these guys. Uh, I killed them like three times already, but I'm glad. I'm glad you're okay now. Could have been a lot worse. I'm surprised we haven't ran into Pamela Isley. We've gotten a lot of her interview stuff like earlier, but we haven't really run into her yet. Hold up! What's over there? Hold up, there's some stuff over there I can get. I wonder I bet that I bet you that's um a Riddler trophy. Which is something that I really want. Can I climb down here? Let's go. Let's go. Riddler trophy, here we come. I like how um he has those things on. Right? The I've always liked that about Batman. i I know what I said made I like how he has those things on. I I, I mean his little gauntlet things with the little pointy things that stick out of him. Like, on his arm? I like that. Is there literally nothing in here? Oh, no, you can go up. Oh, was this another way to get... Oh, I could have taken this way. To get into the operating room. That probably would have been the most... Stealthy way, but... Ah, uh, it's whatever. It's not too big a deal. I'm gonna go talk to these guys that I saved. And we have a riddle in this room. What does it say? Um... There's no clo closet in the garden, so someone is using the roof instead. Um, is it this? Alright, I'll have to look for it in a minute. I do have the map, so... But I'm gonna go talk to these guys, as I said. My my friends! My only friends! And it's because I saved them. Is it this? Imagine. Alright, what's up? I'm sorry. I thought I was working for Dr. Young. I had no idea Joker was involved until he burst in the lab. Where is the lab? Back over there. I always get buzzed through. There's a hidden door, but, well, you know, it's hidden. I'll find it. Stay here. Um, and something... Oh, an interview tape. I'll tell you in a minute. Where is Dr. Kellerman? How should I know? It does seem careless of you to have lost it. I have no time for your games, Miss Isley. Tell me where you have him. We have some killer So, yeah, just more of her. So, the guy in the previous interview tape that she was seducing, she did something with, and now they're trying to figure out where he is. It's a cool little storyline we got going on over, um, here. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Um, the interview tapes, right, that I've been talking about in the previous episode, I talked about how... Hold up, let me see. 
So the riddle, there's a riddle over here somewhere. The previous episode, I talked about how they were all by this Gretchen woman. Um, her name was Gretchen. And I thought they all were, but when I editing all the episodes, I, you know, came to realize that they're, at, they're by different people. Like the person who's interviewing um, the Joker is actually Dr. Cassidy, who has since died in the story, which is kind of sad, but... You know, we're we're doing the best we can to save who we can. What the heck is over there? Is that something I need to scan? Subject too small, let's go! That's the thing I need to scan. I'm getting all the riddles here. What was it? It was here? I don't understand how that's... There's no closet in the garden, so someone is using a roof. I don't understand that. Killer moth? Yeah, I don't understand the riddle, but it just looks suspicious, so I scanned it. Jewelry? Is it Jewelry? Walker was a minor criminal who adopted the identity of Cameron Van Kaleer, a master criminal who in turn masqueraded as the costume supervillain Killer Moth. He is a hired gun for Gotham's gangsters, but his ingenious weaponary, yeah, weaponary, included his uh, cocoon gun, does not protect him from regular defeat at the hands of the Batman. So he's young. He's a minor criminal. Um, Jury Walker. Or, no, no, no. I, th I guess that's... He's like a minor criminal, so he's a smaller criminal. I got you, got you. Okay, I, I was like, minor criminal? Um, That means he's young? I'm just kidding. That's so funny. Uh, Cameron Van Clare, professional criminal. 5 foot 9 inches, 155 pounds. Obsessed with fame and identity change. Skilled inventor. Oh, so he probably invented all his stuff. Or is that not what the bio just said? Right, where am I trying to head now? I'm confused where I'm trying to go. Probably through here, right? I'm assuming this is probably where I want to go. First, there's a riddle over here. And I, I want to get, you know, more riddles before... Oh, the blood samples. I keep forgetting. I can follow these. Okay, where are they taking me? I, I need to get used to that more, you know, following the blood samples. But instead, I've just been kind of doing whatever. Here it is. Okay. Don't want to lose the source. Oh, there's something here. What? Hold on. They're trying to hide secrets from me? I'm surprised I found that. With the scanner and everything. Okay. Oh, that was easy. See how he looks? Oh, it has multiple levels. See how he looks off to the right? Like, who's looking at me? Like, I think he should be focusing, focusing on the code itself. Not, you know, whatever he's doing. But he's Batman. He knows what he's doing. Oh, gosh. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Yeah, there we go. What is that symbol? If anyone knows, leave it down in the comments. The symbol below, um... Whoa, there's like a secret entrance. That's what the guy was talking about. That is so cool. If any, if anyone knows what this symbol is right here, let me know. I don't think it's a major anything, honestly. It just might be like a little thing. Well, look who's discovered our secret lab. Since you've made it this far, let me show you what I've Oh boy, this doesn't look too good. Um, so this is the formula that Joker's using, right? This is the formula he's looking for. So he's just trying to weaponize things and... Oh my goodness, just got slapped, walked right into that. So there's two guys I have to fight now. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna have to be really careful. I have to plan my attacks here. Run at me. So it's basically like the brutes I've had to fight so far. See, I'm gonna say the boss fights in this game aren't that good i'm just gonna say it now like they're cool and everything but compared to you know the boss fights in a game like origins a lot of the boss fights here are just the same thing it's you know throw throw a batarang at a running brute that's literally what every boss fight has been they haven't really done anything to switch it up but you know it's still a good game i don't the main focus of this i've noticed so far isn't really the boss fights so i I don't really have a problem with the- Hey, they're beating each other up. 
I don't really have a problem with the boss fights being like that. Oh! Oh, we're on top of him! Let's go! I'm gonna hit you. I don't... But, yeah, I don't have a problem with the boss fights being like this. And they ran into the, the containers. Is that... Is that fear gas? I think that's fear gas, isn't it? The the toxin? Or maybe it, it could just be regular gas. Or something. Oh. Oh, man. I, it's hard to, you know, fight them all when there's two of them. And you can't... You can't quite tell what's going on. Oh, this guy's down. Oh, my goodness. Get to him. Get to him. Get to him. Woo! Oh, I'm on top. Yeah, okay. I said that really weird. Get to him. Get to him. Get to him. On to I'm on top. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Oh, I can jump off and get on this guy now. That is cool. We're just going back and forth. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing this, I guess. Seems like the easiest way to take them out. Use the guys against each other. Oh. Okay. So now I have to back off. It's 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 nice that you can see their health in the top, the top right. Oh. Ooh. Man. You know it'd be the, I think the coolest thing would be if we had water and we could conju uh, conjugate it. Conjugate it. You know what I mean? I think I'm saying that word wrong. But, you know, just freeze the water. Like Mr. Freeze. That's what we could do. And then we could easily take these guys out. I think that would probably be the easiest solution. Oh, dead bodies. Just throwing bodies at each other. You know, the Joker's henchmen should really learn that the Joker isn't that trustworthy of a guy. If you're, if you're gonna... Oh! Oh, thankfully. But I thought I was about to die there. But if you're gonna trust the Joker, you should expect to turn into these these monsters that Joker wants you to turn into. Oh! Okay, that's one down. See, these fights aren't too hard. I say that as I'm, like, slowly dying. They're not too hard if you, you know... if you're They, they wouldn't be, is what I'm trying to say, if you weren't recording and trying to focus on commentary. But, yeah, I hope that, like, the final boss fight isn't like this. Or, like, the, the, if we have a final boss fight, of course, because, um, Arkham Knight didn't even have one of those. Which, there doesn't have to be in boss fights and games to be, you know, to make it a good game. But if it is a game with boss fights, the best option is to have, you know, good boss fights. I mean, why would you ever have bad boss fights if you're trying to make... A game of boss fights in it. I've destroyed the Titan production facility, but Joker escaped with enough to cause us real problems. Double trouble. Just when you think it can't get any worse. They've been using a venom plant hybrid to create the Titan strain. The plants that keep. Hold up, I'm gonna get the Sonic Batarang real quick, and then I'll let y'all finish talking. Ah, here we are. Yeah. Now we can just basically attract other, you know, crooks to crooks, you know. So it's like a lure, like I've mentioned. Arkham Island who can help us. And what makes you think Poison Ivy will help you? If her plants are at risk, she'll listen. I have a sample of her pheromone signature on record. She'll be somewhere in the gardens. I'll track her down. So, we are going to have to run into Poison Ivy. I've also done some research in terms of timeline. I have not seen any of the story for Arkham Asylum or, you know, um, out City. I need to go back the way I came. Okay, I get you. I get you. But I, I, I did look into the timeline to see at what point did Oracle, you know, get shoot shot in the spine by Joker, because that is part of the timeline in the comics. And I was just curious at what point does that happen in this universe? And apparently, it was, it wasn't that long before this game. Something to get like it happened fairly recently to this game. So. It's cool to know that Oracle kind of just became Oracle in this game. Like, she was recently Batgirl up until, you know, the beginning of this game. It wasn't exactly the beginning, but the timeline said it was, like, close to this game. So it could have been, like, a year before this game or something. But she was... She hasn't been Oracle for that long, just so y'all know. So I think that's a little cool detail. Not to mention that... So in terms of DC characters, or Batman characters, I guess... My characters go like this. Ooh, I can get this? What is this? Is this the line launcher? Because we need to get across that gap, and I'm assuming that's the... Yeah! Line launcher allows rapid movement between horizontal points. Range 100 meters, rate of travel 13. Okay, okay. But in terms of Batman characters, it goes like this for me. 
It goes Batman, Joker, Harley Quinn, Batgirl. Those are my favorite Batman characters. And I just like the story of Oracle a lot. Barbara Gordon, I guess, in terms. Because I like, I like um, you know, well, everything that comes with her character. I like Oracle. I like Batgirl. And I like Harley Quinn. I think they, those are cool characters. Can I even... Will this open? Oh, okay. There's a ledge right here. And now we got the line launcher. See, that's so useful. Okay, and there's riddles in here. Um... Shoot. The riddles were back here, weren't they? Yeah, they were. So I could probably line launch to get riddles. Hold up. I'm going back. I'm going back here. Are there riddles on the side? Oh, drop down. Drop down. Whoo. See, I need, to, I need to figure out how this works again. Because it was in the other games, but I haven't played those games in a while. I haven't played Arkham. I actually played Origins more recently. I was like, okay, I'm going to start from Origins and play through the whole series. But then I decided I want to do a series on it, you know, um, like a, a recorded series. So I, I, I played Origins a bit, but then I I'd stopped. So Origins is what I remember the most, but I haven't played Night in... Let's say, I, I don't know, it was like, what, 2017, probably? So, I mean, I don't know for sure, but it was probably 2017, at the at the most, you know? Because, um, but that was, I've always considered that one my favorite. And I know that's controversial to say, but I've always considered Knight to have the best story. Although, it just retells stories from the comics, like, very popular stories, but... I like that. I like how it retells it. I like how it executes it. I think that's the best, one of the best, you know, things about the game is that it executes these very famous storylines from the comics in a way that that makes the game really special. I don't know which way we're going because I wasn't, I wasn't really following any of the samples. Fermi, see, see, we're trying to find the pheromone. Oh, it says it in the top right. The rat catcher. Something about the rat catcher. Okay, riddles wise, I need to go across, and there's gonna be a riddle over here. Oh yeah, and I couldn't get it because, you know, are there are interview tapes around here. I feel like there would be a trophy back there. Nope. See, if I was a developer, I'd hide a trophy there, but thankfully I'm not. Otherwise, I'd be making bad games. I am writing books though. Ah, oh, here's the trophy. That's cool. And we're getting closer to Pam uh, Pamela Isley or Poison Ivy, I guess. Um, so, it's cool that we're following her pheromone level. That's so cool. Ha <laughs> ha! You're so, you're so funny. It's crazy that we've already, we're already close to upgrading again. We're already halfway there. Oh. It's alright, my darlings. I'm here now. My poor darlings. Yes, I know he's found us. But I won't let him hurt you. I'll kill him first. Ivy, I know Dr. Young mutated these plants to produce venom. Yes, and I heard it through the grapevine the evil woman paid the price. <laughs> I need you to help me create an antidote. Why should I? Let Joker have his fun. I'll enjoy watching you squirm. <laughs> You've been in the dark too long. Every plant on this island will get the same unless you cooperate. There's a plant growing deep in Arkham Island. Only it can counter the effects of this Titan strain. Where do I find it? Oh, in Killer Croc's lair. You didn't think it would be easy, did you? Go back to your cell, or I'll be after you next. And I'll be waiting. Mm. Just kidding. Um, what was I going to say? Killer Croc. That's great. We have to go to his lair now. Oracle. I was hoping we wouldn't have to fight him in this game, but you know how it is. Somewhere below Arkham Island. There's nothing on the system about where he's kept. I found a door near the Batcave, but it's shut tight. There's got to be another way in. I left guard Cash in the mansion. I'll see if he can shed some light on where Croc's kept. Collect plant spores from Killer Croc's lair. So, oh, look at all those guys over there. So, 
man uh, something i do want to mention is that killer croc looks very different in this oh can i hit these guys please tell me i can oh but he looks very different in this compared to the only game i've seen him in which is origins he looks way bigger and that was you know making me want to not fight him but you know how it is okay i need to get my combo score up so i can do some special move takedowns Woo! let's go ouch and i i, I want to eventually like let's see can i just use this in combat oh yeah no 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 it's not really a combat weapon is it i was hoping maybe maybe eventually like i can use it in some situations but I'm trying to use my gadgets in combat and it's giving me a bad you know fighting ability right now but i i i'll, I'll go better but I was hoping that we wouldn't have to fight Killer Croc, considering he's way bigger and he's ugly as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, in this game. Whoo! I need to start throwing people again, too. That That's one of the best parts of this game so far, is you can just pick people up and throw them like it's nothing. Oh, Backclaw! Whoo! I'm playing with my prey right now. Oh! Pick him up, throw him! Throw him at the wall! Oh! That's right. But I knew we were going to have to fight Killer Croc because they made a big deal at him, you know, out of his character since the very beginning of the game. As soon as we met him, when uh, Joker was like, tick tock, tick tock, and then it, it was just scary, you know? So are we, are we leaving now? I guess we're leaving. Dang. So, I just need to find my way out of here, I guess. Um, should I go back through this way? Eh, I'm not, I don't really want to. Or maybe, I, I probably have to, though, because that's probably the quickest way to get to him. Like, as I was saying, it looks like the this is connected to the sewer system. Which is, is interesting. I'm going to go back through this way, just in case. Because I might be able to get a few riddles here. Now that I do have the um, line launcher. And I probably have to go back this way anyway. This challenge can only be seen with a different perspective. So I'm just going to try and find maybe one or two riddles in here. Oh, it says it has an objective on my map. Let me look. Oh, so I have to go back here. Arkham. The Arkham Mansion. Okay, so I do have to exit this building. But hold up. I'm looking for riddles. What the heck? Lunatic guys. How'd the lunatic guys get down here? I am not looking forward to beating you up. I have no idea how the lunatic guys got down here. Oh my goodness. Look at this sneaky beaky right here. The sneaky beaky trophy. I don't even know if beaky's a word. I'll have to look that up. Like, we're so close to getting an upgrade again. That's so cool. But we got one Riller trophy. If I find another one, I'll, I'll ditch this place. Oh, hold up. Hold up! I didn't even notice this! I didn't even notice this was a thing! What? What? There has to be- <gasps> No way! That was clever! Cause you can't even see the grate from the floor. So it was clever putting it in a grate. Alright, I'm on my way out now. I think I've- I think I've done good within, you know, riddles in this place. Obviously, I haven't gotten all of them. Because, you know, time constraints, but I, I got, you know, fair, fair amount. Fair amount is such a cool word. Um, fair amount, like the two words, I guess. <laughs> one word, imagine. That'd be scary if it was only one word. But fair amount, like F A I R uh, A M O U N T. That's such a cool, like, combination of words it just sounds cool you know okay so i have to go this way i want to look i feel like the rat thing would be in here because where do rats often travel i scanned this thing before but i don't think it's this rats often travel and vent stuff though and that's where i feel it would be what is this <gasps> hold up hey just his, his his charm the rat catcher Oh, man, he looks ominous. Look at the little staff thing he has, like, with a lantern on it. Once employed as an actual rat catcher in Gotham, Otis Flanagan soon started using his natural gift, an affinity with an ability to control rats. 
to stage a variety of crimes. Eventually, his control over the vermin grew until he threatened Gotham City with a veritable army um, of rodents. Incarcerated many times at Blackgate, he's able to do as much damage within prison as without. Using his loyal pets to re uh, relay messages and transport materials inside the maze of ventilation ducts that wind through the giant that wind through the giant prison. So he's he's only um, attached to Arkham. So he's not a villain outside of Arkham. That's kind of cool. Um, Otis Flanagan Brown, five foot eleven. He has blue eyes. Um, thorough knowledge of Gotham's sewer system and Blackgate prisons. Black, um, yeah. So something I actually want to say is Blackgate is the prison of this universe. Um, the thing I don't like about the Batman universe is it sort of represents Arkham Asylum as a prison. When in reality, Arkham Asylum has never been a prison. It's, it's an asylum. It's for, um... Ha, you're so cool. But, wait, watch this though. Watch this. I'm about to hit you, boy. Oh, I was trying to hit them both, but I, I missed. But it's an asylum. It's a, a, a mental facility, right? To treat people who are insane, but... It also looks like a prison, and maybe I could be wrong about that. Maybe it's not only asylum, but also a prison. It's probably what it is. Or maybe I just don't have enough knowledge on what a mental asylum is. I don't think I do, honestly. And that's probably why I'm confused. What time is tea time in Arkham? So I do want to get this riddle. It looks to be below me. Holy sh- There's guys with guns. There's guys with guns. I am so screwed. I am so screwed. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Look at his his ragdoll body. Shoo. Someone help bad baby up off the floor. So I guess the mission fail sequences are only Joker. I failed more times in this episode than I have in any other, which is kind of funny. This is just an episode where I die. I didn't know there were people in here. Time okay, so I got a stealth. And maybe I could be looking for that riddle while I'm stealthing as well. It has to be below there. I mean, I know I blew up that wall, but I had to have missed something. They're just all, like, together. I don't know what I can do. Unless they, they separate. I, I don't know why I didn't take this guy down immediately. He's just all on his lo lonesome, you know? Oh, don't see me. Haha! <laughs> I like how they glow red, too. That's cool. Like, to represent that they're enemies. Okay, climb down. Oh, shoot. They can hear the collars. Oh, and I have the Sonic Batarang. I completely forgot. Oh, go, 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 go. Whoo. Okay, let's use the Sonic Batarang. See what we got here. I don't know how this works, though. I just throw it? Does it attract him? Okay. <gasps> it's sending out something. Oh, so I think it attracts all people with a suicide collar. Okay, so that makes sense. I wasn't quite sure what the the um what it was trying to say. Like the um description of this gadget was. I thought it only attracted um dead people, but it seems that it attracts alive people that have on suicide collars. Okay, so these guys are sticking together, meaning... Oh, invert, 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 er, invert, oh! Whoo! Oh, man, I already had a stealth sequence in this room. It's kind of scary, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. Sonic Batarang. Oh, it still ha it has a long recharge time. But I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of helpful. In terms of trying to get them separated. I believe I can still use the regular Batarangs to do so, though. But since these are more effective, I'm gonna start using these. And I I gotta wait until these guys are these guys are separated in order to um make my my stealthy move. Which they kinda are now. Oh yes, they're separating. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Okay, I'm gonna Okay, he's coming up. He's coming up. I thought he was going down, honestly. Okay, I can Got all bases covered. We're good. I know we're good. Let's go. Whoo! What are you doing? <laughs> Let's go. Okay. You're the last guy, my friend. 
And this is goodbye for you. Whoo! I'm Batman. Oh! Oh! Right to the neck! Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm trying to teabag. Oh, I can slow teabag, but if I try to fast teabag, he'll just use the bat claw. Alright, I'm getting out of this room. Oh, wait. No, no, no. The riddle. I gotta find the riddle. If I don't find the riddle, it's over. Everything I've worked to achieve. See, I went in this room. I went in this room and I couldn't find anything. Hold up. Gotta turn my phone off here. My alarm went off. Okay. Now, um, I'm not too worried about this riddle. Uh, I'm just gonna keep moving. Keep moving forward. And there's just a guy hanging there. That's kind of scary. Just a guy hanging there. But I gotta keep moving. It's the only way. That's just mean, Joker. So is Poison Ivy talking about she wants us dead, or what the heck? Or does she want Joker dead? Oh my goodness. Oh, here it is. Uh, shut up, Joker. I walk around my island. I passed by the penitentiary and felt nauseous at the thought of the filth it contained. I looked out over the Gotham Bay, and in the distance I saw lights. No doubt boats bringing more filthy degenerates to my city. I swore again to protect her from this darkness. Poor guy. We passed by the penitentiary. Pen I can't say that word for some reason. Penitentiary or whatever. And, um, that's insane. We didn't spot anyone, but it's crazy how we're in this. I, I know. Like, that's such a dumb thing to say. It's crazy how we're in the same building as him, but you, at some point in life, you start to realize that it is crazy how much history buildings have. You know what I mean? Like, in real life, when I go to certain buildings and houses and when I'm looking for a house to buy... I'm like, what happened here? Maybe. You don't really know. But when you do, it's scary. It's or sometimes it's really beautiful. Because either beautiful things happened, or s really scary things happened in that house, and you have no, you have no clue. Looks like the plants are mutating further. It's more than you, you know. What the hell is happening, though? And there's just plants growing all over Arkham now. Maybe used to attack Gotham last year. They're deadly. Oh, so what what he's saying is what the hell what is happening? Oh. Oh, I can destroy it. So Batman captured Ivy last year is what he's stating. Can I destroy these things? I'm going to try to go ahead and what the? Oh my goodness. So when those things pop out, I need to destroy them. And this gives me a little bit of XP, which... Hey, look, I'm not complaining about. Is this where that thing I couldn't get up into is? No, it isn't. It's the other one. Oh, let me just go around and destroy these things. Get my XP up. Let's go. So, I have to go in this building over here. Okay, that's scary. Alright, is there going to be anything that comes out of here? Oh my goodness. Nope. It's really, it's interesting because some of these have, oh shit, holy sh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, okay, I don't know what's going on anymore, it's being attacked, left and right, why can't I ever just go in the front door of this building, I think I have before, but, it's just kind of scary, that, I haven't always, you know, Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. So those things, yeah. I figured they hurt me because it hurt the other guy when it showed that cutscene, so. But I remember how to get in this way. I remember how to get in. You just gotta go up this way through the air duct. Sheesh. This is so cool. Okay, now I need to go this way. There's just so many riddles. 
It's kind of overwhelming. It gets overwhelming at some point, you know? Whoa. Mansion entrance hall. It's kind of pretty. Not going to lie. I imagine I do not want to touch that stuff down there, though. But it's kind of pretty how, like, red it makes everything, you know? Just makes everything a pretty, like, um, amber color. Which is really cool. I'm also colorblind, so I could have gotten that completely wrong. Oh, this is where we found this Arkham thing before. It's so, it's so cool how you kind of revisit the same areas because... You don't really do that much in the other games, if I remember correctly. Or either you do and I'm just completely wrong. Oh, I can jump down here. I I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing any riddles. It seems that I got most of the riddles in this entrance hall. Collect, uh, oh yeah. Aaron Cash. Talk to Aaron Cash in the Arkham Mansion. Man, I love Cash. I love that he has a bigger role. I think I might have already stated that. I'm just looking to see if there's no Riddler trophies. Okay, we're good. I just like how he has a bigger role in this game compared to the other ones, because he, he just wasn't really, um, well, he, he was cool in Night, but he wasn't in Origins, which makes sense. It's supposed to take place, I think, like, nine or ten years before this game, so, which is crazy. Can I jump down there now? No, there's still gas, so, I don't know which way I'm trying to go. I can't get up there. All right, I'm going for it, then. Oh, we're good. Oh, okay, I see. It's just the very, very lowest level I can't get to. Zay, Aaron Cash. Be here about now. What's the deal with the plants? It's complicated. Let me guess. Poison Ivy. She teamed up with Joker. All that matters is that I can stop the plants taking over the island, but... There's always a but, isn't there? Where do you keep Killer Croc? I found a door in the sewers, but it's sealed shut. That monster's got his own special cell. It's right below the transfer room back in intensive treatment. The elevator goes right down to an old sewer. You just drop meat down there every day or so and try to forget about it. It's locked off. More security than the Joker. You won't get in without the warden's permission. He has the codes. Thanks, Cash. Stay here and do not go near the plants. They'll kill you. Look at our face. We have a cut on the side of our cheek right there. We have a cut on our cow. That's kind of scary. Um, I don't know why we were asking um, Cash where um, Killer Croc was. Because we saw him earlier jump scare us in the sewer system. But I guess Batman could have thought he got out or something at some point. Okay, where am I? Now I need to leave the building? Holy crap. A lot of back and forth, huh? But I'm glad I talked to Cash. It makes me feel good. Cash is just... Okay, that kind of sounded sort of weird like it makes me feel good like what the hell you know dude we, our gadgets are stacking up and honestly makes me happy oh that was scary because i was afraid my zip line was gonna go too far now i can actually say zip line whereas before i was saying grapnel hook which wasn't you know correct oh this is where we had that um scarecrow sequence right here yeah it was scary no matter what you say you can say it wasn't scary but we all know for a fact that it really was okay the problem is trying to get out of here I, I'm glad I haven't seen any crooks or anything that I've had to fight it's the best part and this line launcher just, just makes everything so easy in comparison to before and now I think um wasn't there that Riddler trophy that I couldn't get in the oh shoot there's that Riddler trophy that I couldn't get my challenges appear to those with the correct position in life but there was that Riddler trophy we couldn't get in the um, sewer system or like the the entrance to the sewer system because it was um too far away eight hostiles so I need to go this way there's so many trophies bro so many freaking trophies sheesh well I I have gotten a lot of trophies here but I'm not trying to okay so there's one over here gotcha I think that's I think these are just um question marks now because of the poison ivy spores stuff I can get. And that's why they're showing up on the map. See, like, it says there's something right here. But I don't see anything. I don't even see the spores. But I was imagining it was speaking of the spores. Oh, is it up here in this room? I thought I got everything up here, though. Unless it's on the very top. <gasps> Look at that. Look at how sneaky that is. 
That is way too sneaky. Also, isn't there one in here? Because I remember I was editing a video. Yeah, I was editing... See, because I was editing a video before. Um, the one where I went through this area. And I, I noticed a Riddler trophy that I missed. That I, I, um... I was telling myself that I was going to go back and get... Oh, dang. Those are really hard to get. Oh, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. No upgrade. Oh, man. I mean, at least they give you a little XP. Is this where the ambulance guys are? No, they're gone. Oh, these aren't good guys, are they? Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to steal everyone's costumes. I was trying to throw a batarang at you, fool. But you messed it up. Oh my goodness. Oh, they have the electric sticks. These are the electric stick guys that I need to look out for. Whoo! Okay, can I stun him? I can't remember what I have to do okay? to the electric stick guys. Oh my goodness. He lost his combo. I thought he was about to do a special move. What? How, how messed up do you have to be to steal a security costume in order to attack Batman? That's just cheating, honestly. If you think about it. At some point, you gotta consider what you're doing cheating oh i should have thrown it at the electric guy oh you think you're so cool electric guy man those those electric staff guys really do throw um stuff into the mix um like it makes it more difficult and i'm starting to lose health finally these battles are getting harder here towards the end i remember i was saying it was easy in the beginning but in the beginning it made sense now oh i could have done my special combo but I missed it. Oh my god, I have to take I have to take the defense route here. Or else I'm not gonna make it. But it's kinda hard. It's kinda hard not to um attack the uh, staff guys. Okay, I got him down, I got him down. Oh yes. Yeah, there you go. Whoo! That was scary. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Health go up, please. Oh man. I bet you the final boss, this is one of those games, isn't it? Where the final boss fight is just insanely, ridiculously hard. Oh, do I have an upgrade? Oh, yeah, I do. I, I must have completely blanked. Um, what do we got here? Increase the power of the cryptographic sequencer, allowing easier deciphering. Uh, I mean, they've been pretty simple so far. Remote control batarang. I could do this. I'm going to do remote control batarang. Because these are good in the other series. Um, I haven't seen anything that requires a remote control batarang yet. And since it's an upgrade in this game, I imagine Batman, it probably won't be anything. But I'm going to get it anyway because it's useful he got there throughout the other I'll games. The Thank you, Oracle. You got you to gotta appreciate Oracle for giving me all this knowledge that I need. Oh my goodness. Ooh! All, all this knowledge I need to get through these fights because, dang. If I didn't have Oracle, bro. Actually, I, I would be fine if I didn't have Oracle because think about it. Batman has been doing this a really long time without, you know, Oracle. Since Oracle is more of a newer companion. So, if you think about it, Batman has been doing it a long time. But Oracle just makes things way easier. So, I need to figure out a way to get up there. And there's a sniper right there. Can I, um... Zip line from here to there. Oh my god, crazy lunatic. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. The crazy lunatics just don't even care. Ay, look at this, look at this. Hey, whoo. What's up, bro? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's stupid. He couldn't even see me. They're all wearing security outfits now. So it's it's harder to spot the bad guys. Dang. I cannot believe he didn't even see me. That's kind of crazy. So we're technically working with Poison Ivy right now to be Joker. Even though I wasn't sure earlier if she was referring to she hates us or she hates Joker. Oh my goodness. Either way, she's, she's really mad right now. Dude, look at our cheek. I know, I've said it, but it just keeps getting worse. Plants are taking hold. I've got to stop them before the entire island is under her control. Whoo! Tell him, Batman. Tell him how it is. Someone needs a hero in this world. 
And everyone in Gotham needs a hero. If in this city, in this fictional city of Gotham, if Batman did not exist, everyone would just be scared, honestly. Or helpless is what I, I was trying to say. They would not have the ability to protect themselves, honestly, because Gotham is a crazy place with crazy people that needs a cra someone who's crazy enough to be its hero. You know what I mean? And I'm glad that they have Batman. Okay, so this is where I came in from. I think that might have just been a way to get to a, the Riddler trophy, which, hey, I'm not complaining. I want as many Riddler trophies as I can get because it ups the XP. Oh. Yes. The heck? Well, anyway, I'm going this way, so. Whoo! You can hear my button mashing. Like, doo 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 doo. See that? Like, that's kind of that's kind of scary. Also, X doesn't really do anything when you're not opening vents. I just realized that all X really does. Oh, it it it's the run button. Okay, never mind. And it's the climb button. Okay, just ignore what I said. Other than running and climbing, X doesn't do much. I guess. Which is is I Pixar light. I see you. Oh my goodness, so many so many hostiles. Uh, it's not really a Pixar light, as I've mentioned. The uh. The, uh, it looks more prisony. A pi uh, uh, Pixar light doesn't look as prisony as this. Are they ready? Have you planted the explosives yet? Dude! Razor's just finishing his off now. Good. Let's test him out. No! No, I'm still up! <laughs> My goodness. I've been in this room before, right? A puzzle has many sides, but only some are visible. Yeah, I have. And I mentioned how I was going to... I'd probably be back here. And I'm back. Yes. They have bombs on all the gargoyles? That's kind of dumb. So that means I can't use gargoyles in this in this room? They took out They took out my only way. Oh my goodness. Climb. Climb. Oh. Climb, Batman. Whoo! See, because you can see with Detective Vision, they have they have dynamite armed on every single gargoyle. Like right there, there's dynamite. Right there, there's dynamite. Oh my goodness. And there's not even vents in this room. This is where Officer Bowles is. His body should be somewhere over there. Because this was when I was trying to figure out the glide mechanic or where I was. Oh my goodness. Run! Run! Oh my goodness, you're so dead. You're so dead. You are so dead. Oh my goodness. Say goodbye, Batman. Say goodbye. Climb down. I gotta keep in mind the suicide colors. Cause that 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 crap is annoying. Okay, so I guess I'll stay beneath them. If I can't stay above them, I'll have to stay beneath them anyway. Okay. Got this Batman. You got this, bro. No pressure or anything. Okay, I can climb up here. <gasps> There's a thing. I forgot about this. I can use this to get into that room. But the real question is, how does one do so? Oh, yeah. He's definitely coming in here. Dang. Can you look the other way? They're all too- <gasps> Hold up! I found the Riddler question mark! No way! Can I get it? Can I get it? <laughs> how did that work? I don't even know. I don't even know how that worked. But it did, so... I'm just gonna- I'm not gonna question it. Come- come this direction. Come this way, buddy! If he comes back behind this wall, I'm going to go for it. Okay, he did not come back behind this wall. They're all going a certain way, too. I can't believe I found that question mark. That was so insane. Okay. Drop down, buddy? I'm calling Batman, buddy. That's so funny. If Batman was a real person. We probably wouldn't be friends. Who? Go, 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 go! This is already a sus situation. 
a guy down here. Oh my Hello. goodness. There's a body on the east walkway. You heard Joker. Climb down. Go. Oh my goodness. Climb. Joker was right. Found someone. Go, 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 go. Whoo. See, sometimes I can't tell. Sometimes it's a nuisance to have the a Joker know when everyone dies. And sometimes it's very helpful. And I'm sorry I'm quiet here. I'm just... Very focused on the mission. Man, if I could use those gargoyles, it would make things so much easier. Oh, I can get in the room. I keep forgetting. Okay. Grapple up. Go, 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 go. I'm so low on health. Oh, my goodness. They're all up here. Oh. Oh, they're going downstairs. Can I take this guy out from behind the wall? We got one down over here. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be hard. Go! No! Go! Go, 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 go. <sighs> Look at my health! Look at my health! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Sonic Batarang over there. Jump back up here. Try and hope that one of them goes the opposite direction. Okay, he's going that way. Yes! Oh! I am surprised I'm actually doing this with as low as my health is. It's actually pretty surprising for me. It seems I can get out this way. That guy is coming down, though. I'm going to try and break this vent open. Just in case. I need it. Okay. No, he's coming back up. What you doing, buddy? Ha <laughs> ha! Only with vent grates, baby. So vent grates are helpful. And I still got that riddle earlier. Let's go. Let's freaking go. That is great. Well, and it's everyone too, right? I believe I've got everyone. And I solved that riddle. Um. Well, thank you all for watching. I would get on the gargoyle and hang upside down for a cool ending of this episode. But um, I do not want to blow up. See, there's Frank Bulls down there. Man, we've come a long way, haven't we? Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I'm sure we'll probably face off against Killer Croc in the next episode, which is not something I'm entirely looking forward to. But I've had a great episode this episode. So far, all we did was we basically... We started off in the Botanical Gardens area, and we were trying to, you know, trying to find our way, and then we figured out... Um, we found Joker, basically, in the secret entrance when we fought through those guys who were caged up. And um, we saved them after, you know, me dying, you know, a couple times. Um, we saved them. Um, and we found Joker and he's injected his own men with his formula, which is, I think, his Titan formula. And then we had to find Poison Ivy to sort of give us information about where to go to find the cure to this formula. And we have to go to kill a croc. So that's something we'll probably have to finish in the next episode. Um, or we might not even get there yet. I mean, who even knows? In terms of gameplay, um, gameplay in this episode was, was pretty good. As you can see, I, I lost my health and I was dying a couple times. And I, I think next upgrade I get, I'm going to have to aim for, um, a health upgrades because in terms of health, I'm not doing too well. And fist, uh, in terms of like fighting ability and I could be doing better. And I think that's because I've been putting a lot of my upgrades into my gadgets instead of. Um, my actual my actual character and I think I'm gonna have to aim for that next episode but I'm still having a good time I enjoy how the game itself is getting harder um, I think it was a little easier at the beginning and as it at although it was fun it wasn't my sort of thing you know I enjoy when games are harder than they than they are well anyway y'all thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed until next time.